All right, so the button assignments for MicroStation Connect are pretty much the same as they were in V8i. So that really hasn't changed much, but maybe you didn't ever do anything with that. So let's go ahead and spend a few minutes talking about button assignments and, and what you can do. So there is the name of what we would call the button on the mouse, and then there's the name that MicroStation gives to those buttons. So the left button uh, is typically called the data button or data if you prefer that pronunciation. The right button is the reset. Uh, the left right, meaning the left and right buttons on the mouse pressed at the exact same time. That's referred to as the left right chord where you press them at the same time. And that's referred to as tentative. And then you have the middle button is uh, X button one, button four, X button two, button five is X button three. On my mouse, which this is a picture uh, of my mouse uh, taken off the website, uh, and it has what is button four and button five. So we're gonna show you how, if you have multiple buttons, how you could add a customization to those buttons. There are two ways to get to the place where you can do button assignments. I just showed you one, which is file settings, user button assignments. And then the other one is to do F4 and do a search. You can either click on F4, the key, or you could just go click up into the search area on the up above the ribbon. And then you type whatever is unique. So you'll find with different commands, you'll find, oh, I, if I type these three letters, for example, T-O-N happens to be unique and only button assignments uses those three letters. So you could get away with that. Or if you wanna type button, you could. If you wanna type button space assignments, you could, but that uh, don't really need to do that. Okay, and so that, well, let's go ahead and toggle back to MicroStation. So four button assignments, I'm gonna press F4. I'll type button, and you'll see as I'm starting to type that I have typed enough which makes this unique. So that is enough, and then I could hit enter, and that will run that command. If I were to do what I just said before with T-O-N, that happens to be enough as well. So you can find your unique things that work for you. So uh, here they are. This is our, our button uh, assignments. So there are two parts to uh, assigning buttons to the mouse. One is to decide what button on the mouse is going to equate to what command in MicroStation or what MicroStation label buttons, if you will. So the left button is the data button. The reset is the right button. If you wanted to flip that, you could. You could pick the data, you could come down to this area and right click your mouse, and that would now make the, the data button be the right mouse button, and it then toggles the left down to reset. So it'll flip the two. So you could do that, I don't want that, so I'm gonna go back to left for the data. You might have a company, let's say you did a, work, a lot of work for Caltrans, uh, Caltrans, for example, uses the middle button for tentative. So if I went to tentative and came down here and then went to X button and did the left right chord, that happens to be the way Caltrans has their button assignments by default. Uh, then you'll see there is a button two. X button two is the button four on the mouse and X button three is button five. So you can assign buttons you know, the names of MicroStation buttons to whatever you want on the mouse. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that and leave it as the default. Uh, then you come in and you assign a command. So you pick what do you want to assign a command to? So I showed you a picture of my mouse. I'm gonna to go to X button two, which again is the button four on my mouse. And I'm going to, with, no, with none of the modifiers on, I'm gonna say choose element. So choose element is the uh, command for select selecting elements, choose element. We'll hit enter, it adds it down below. I'm now going to turn on control. So control X button two, and I'm gonna make this change attributes. 
not so the ways. Make sure I spell it correctly. And that's it. I've, I've added two commands to, to a single button. The one button I press will give me choose element. If I hold the control and press the button, I get change elements. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So we'll click save. Uh, not sure why that popped up. Uh, so let's, now I'm going to go ahead and hit my button four on my mouse and it's gone to choose element. Hold the control, press that same button. I have change attributes. So I can toggle back and forth between those just about as fast as I can hit the button. So it's a really, really quick way to do it. If you do not have a multi-button mouse, uh, may I suggest that you consider spending your 30 bucks or whatever it is to, to get one because you can, you've got the control, the alt, the shift with the button and you've got a couple of buttons. So you can get eight or 10 commands that you can get to very, very fast uh, for those things that you do a lot, like element selection. All right, so that is uh, that is the uh, change for buttons. Uh, before I leave that, let me just come back here real quick. I, I talked about searching for things. We're not gonna actually go through function keys today, but it turns out if you type fun, fun is enough to give you function keys. So if you wanna customize those, you could do that as well. I didn't add that as part of this particular webinar, but that is, uh, where this is. Notice personal.functionkey.menu. So there is a file that's automatically created for you for function keys. And if I go back to my buttons, you'll see those are in personal.button.buttonmenu, which again is in that folder that I showed you at the very beginning. So that is created for you automatically. That is one of the beauties of the personalization is I just do it and it works and I don't have to worry about, well, where's that going and where's that being saved? If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.